Hey, what's going on guys? Tropical Fish Guy here. Today we're going to be talking about a beautiful fish with a wonderful personality, the electric blue acara. Now this fish is a uh, very peaceful fish, which I like. He doesn't go around uh, picking on people. He's a gentle giant. I wouldn't even say a giant. He grows to be about, uh, about six to eight inches. Uh, so, um, you know, they start small, so you can you can start in a small 20, 30 gallon tank. But as they grow bigger, this is a, a 65 gallon tank. This guy's about three inches here. I'll show you video here right now, um, up close. Very beautiful, beautiful fish, as you can see. Uh, sparkling electric blue, hence the name electric blue acara. Um, gets along with, with all these other guys you, you can see here. The uh, tiger barbs and the, the uh, Siamese algae eater, even little bitty uh, serpe tetras and stuff. Very good community fish. Now, of course, you don't want very tiny fish like neons or anything or else they do eat small fish, you know, but um, that's what fish do. They eat smaller fish. But anyways, uh, you can keep, a, you know, bigger sized community tank, uh, community fish with this guy. Really, really nice. They come from Central and South America. They're not mean and aggressive like the Oscars or convicts or anything like that. These are gentle fish uh, most for the most part. You do need to give them plenty of hiding spaces, a good amount of plants or decorations. If you don't have live plants, that's fine. Decorations, rocks, whatever, things, things that make them comfortable. You know, you don't want to live in an empty house, right? I mean, so, thing, you know, hiding places, big old rocks and stuff like that. Of course, like I said, I mean, why do people buy them? They're known for their very vibrant blue color. They're very active. They just don't sit around, you know. Uh, they move around, as you can tell, from one side of the tank to the other. They're, they're very smart. They're very perceptive. When I come to the tank, he knows. He, he comes up, and I'll show you here in a second. Um, as I feed, I'll, I'll feed them for you. I'll show you what I feed them and everything. They're very easy to take care of as long as you keep the water clean, you know, give them water changes every now and then, right? Depending on how much you feed and all that stuff. And feeding is easy. They're omnivores, okay? So so they, they eat pretty much anything. What I feed them, and I'll show you here, I'll show you right now as a matter of fact. The staple food that I feed them, the, the everyday food is this Omega One. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now he's bigger. When he was bigger, I got him the smaller version of this, but, uh, the Omega One Cichlid Pellet Super Color Floating. They look like this right here. Uh, he eats about four or five in a sitting, and I'll show you here right now, as a matter of fact. All right, let's try this one-handed. There he is, look at there. Look at that guy, he knows I'm about to feed him. I'm going to try it with my other hand. Let's see here, I've got four or five of these. Yeah, there we go. I'll come to this corner right here. Drop them down. Mm, boom. Boom. Look at that, huh? And those tiger barbs go after it too, but they're not big enough. He takes a couple at a time. That's just square right there. And uh, he sees those. I feed him about four or five of those particular things. Um, he used to not be able to down all four, but... You know, you, you could probably eat a couple more. Let me throw in a couple more. Come on over here, guy. Come on over here. There you go. You can see those tiger barbers trying to get on after it. When he starts slowing down like that, that's when I stop feeding him. I do that about once or twice a day. Sometimes I skip a day. But uh, he's growing, he, he's growing about, he, he's about three inches right now. When I first got him, he was about an inch and a half. So, you know, he's, a, he's getting a bit to be a big boy. Uh, I've had him for about a year. So he doubled in size for about, in, in about a year. Um, I might as, yeah, look at that. Those guys, it's a funny tangent. Those guys are fighting over that one big old pellet right there. I guess I should feed him some, some flake food here. Let me, let me side tangent real quick, and this is actually not the cichlid flake. I, I just use this. This is actually um, the extreme extreme flake flake food, and this is extreme food. That's the best food you can get, anyway. But anyways, let me feed these guys so that they 
Yeah. Now he's way too big for flake food, right? You can tell, but that's for the uh, serpes and the and the tiger bars. But yeah, this guy here. Yeah. But back to the electric blue Acara. Let me put these tops back on. Care level easy. Very simple, to, very easy to take care of. They're not demanding. They eat regular food. I, I dig, I go out there and dig in the garden sometimes and uh, get him some worms. He loves worms, loves insects. Uh, they eat insects in the wild. So for temperature, just keep it constant. They are very hardy in just about any reasonable temperature from uh, 70 to 82, something like that. I mean, just a just wide range. They're, they're very strong, hardy fish. And they live a long time right? They can live up to 20 years if you take good care of them. Uh, this guy's just a, just a youngin. He, he's, he's only been, I don't know, I mean, he was small. He was like an inch, inch and a half when I got him. Now he's doubled size, so maybe a year or two old, something like that. Um, but uh, breeding, they are egg layers, but I, I've, I've never got them to breed or anything like that. I'm sure some people have, but I don't, I don't bother. The main allure for me is not only the color, but his personality. You know, when, it, when I come up to the tank like you saw, Right, he, um, he he just comes up there and greets me every day, and you know he's not shy. They, you know, these are the type of fish that you'll see, <laughs> you'll actually see. You know, some fish hide all the time, and you don't ever see them. And you're like, oh yeah, uh, but no, these guys are really active. They come from the streams and uh, rivers of uh, South America. They also eat frozen food when they're smaller. I, I used to feed them some brine shrimp and some blood worms. They love earthworms. And it's good to just give a varied diet, right? This stuff right here, like I said, it, it has salmon, wheat flour, whole herring, a shrimp, wheat germ meal. So it is just basic food, but you know, give them variety of food. We don't like to eat the same thing every day. Neither do they. No, actually he, he loves this food. So he can eat it every day, but I, I try not to feed, you know, I feed that to him every day. And, and like on the weekends and stuff, I give him a, I go out there, like I said, and give him an earthworm or something. Um, every now and then I throw in some, some other stuff, but uh, that's, the, that's the main food right there. They're social, very social. Uh, they do well in groups. So if you got a big old tank, you can get several of those guys. They'll, they'll be just fine as long as you keep, you know, plenty of hiding spaces, like I said before, won't go into that too much. They, and, and, and one of the main reasons, I know I said this, but I said again, they're great for community aquariums, you know. They're not good for uh, if you have like Oscar tank or, you know, those really mean aggressive type fish, don't put them in there, right? Put them in nice, peaceful, <laughs> nice, peaceful fish with other nice, peaceful fish. Right? And they do swim a lot, so it's good to, you know, don't cramp them up and, and, and give them plenty of room. You know, the bigger the better tank is always, but of course, you know, as long as you give them plenty of room to go back and forth and turn around and all that stuff, they'll be fine. You know, this guy, you know, 65 gallon, he's fine, no problem. You can probably put them in a 50, 55, you know, 40, whatever. But uh, as they get bigger, as this guy gets bigger, you know, he'll get six or eight inches, right? Six or eight inches, whatever. And he might be fine in here, we'll just keep looking. You know, we'll just keep an eye on them and see, right? They're low maintenance. Uh, so they're good for beginner aquariums or advanced aquariums. Anybody, anybody could benefit getting one of these guys. They're beautiful. Keep the water clean. So that's a quick one here, guys, of the uh, Electric Blue Acara. And uh, a, a definitely a easy fish for anyone to keep. I would highly recommend it. Two thumbs up. Really love this fish. Give me a comment below if you have this fish or if you plan on getting it after this video. Share this video with someone who is looking for a new fish to get that's looking for a nice, peaceful, big centerpiece. This is a nice centerpiece fish for your aquarium, right? I mean, every time someone comes in here, it's like, oh, what's that big blue one, right? I mean, that's what you want to hear, and that makes me feel pretty cool, you know, when people are like, oh, that, that's a cool-looking fish. You know, especially with the contrast between the, the blue and the orange and red of the serpes against the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, the tiger barbs and stuff. But uh, awesome fish, highly recommend it. Give me a like, guys, for the YouTube algorithm. And comment, subscribe to the channel if you like fish stuff. And thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it, guys. And as always, happy fish keeping. Peace out.